Hello and welcome to News 9. I am Mr. Tain. First up, the garbage crisis and the constant criticism has finally made Sidramaya in fact lose his school in a meeting with the BBMP officials. Well, Sidramaya took BBMP officials to task, telling the officials that if the problem is not solved within three months, the officials might be sent home. Well, in fact, uh, these were the scenes witnessed even as the chief minister took the BBMP officials to task. Let's not forget that the Mandur crisis has been looming large on uh, Bengaluru as well as uh, the BBMP. For the 16th straight day, people of Mandur have been protesting against the BBMP's inaction in this particular case. Many of them who are on an indefinite hunger strike are also falling ill. This comes in the backdrop of Mandur Villagers refusing to allow garbage trucks from Bengaluru to be dumped in their village as it is polluting their soil, their air as well as their water, subjecting them and exposing them to numerous health hazards, exposing them to numerous uh, diseases as well. And uh, today, even as the chief minister was expected to meet the residents of Mandur, he met up with the BBMP officials, lambasted them. He went on to state that vehicles are given to the officials so that they can visit these affected areas, not use it for their personal purposes and if they are not interested in doing their job then they will be sent home. He also gave them a time frame of three months. He said that in the next three months he wants to see some change as uh, the Mandur issue is not a new issue to Bengaluru. Even two years back both the landfills, Mandur as well as Mavalipura had protested against the BBMP, had said that they do not want to be the landfills as their uh, very uh, primary right to live in a peaceful and healthy environment is snatched away from them as their surroundings are polluted with, due to the landfills, their soil is polluted, their air is polluted, their water is polluted, the children are following, falling ill and now uh, the residents of Mandur are in fact demanding action. I am going to go I think we are now held in the summer city there. I think we are now in the American ship, Malabaka permission, so the Lana Mugagati, the other in the Sampa, Samia Kasha Bay Kondaga, and the Amel Koneg. I think we opened there. Amele, Alien and Keltakari Lagbeko, I think Lazmele, I think Lu Inno, I think Lakala, Adinella Koda, and a church of Madrid. Although I think Lazmele, the Baroni and Albekon and Bikalu and the other, Mark Kona Kelly and the other. Well, my colleague Harish joins us with all the latest updates uh, in the case. Well, Harish, we understand that the Chief Minister has finally come down with an eye in hand. It's about time. Yes, it was about time and uh, the Chief Minister had called for a review meeting and uh, that is when uh, he took all the officials to task and uh, these are uh, officials from the BBMP especially who have been taken to task. He has asked them what they are doing with the official car given by the government. Why are they not going to the field and monitoring the situation? He didn't just stop at that, Nishita. He even asked the officials to submit the diaries in front of him on where they had gone yesterday, where they had conducted, uh, conducted their uh, inspection yesterday, when none of the BBMP officials uh, managed to submit their diary about uh, their travel yesterday and where they had inspected. He came down heavily saying that uh, looks like uh, BBMP officials are thick-skinned and he knows how to deal with them and make sure that they can get rid of the thick skin. Now he has given them a three-month deadline. He said that there will be a review meeting in October first week, and if uh, things haven't improved by then, then he will make sure that all these officials go home. And he has said that this is not just a verbal, uh, uh, just one more uh, deadline given by the government. This time he's serious about dealing with these officials. He has said that uh, if you don't get your act in place by first week of uh, uh, October, then he will make sure that all these people go home and he's also instructed the commissioner, BBMP commissioner, to make sure that all joint commissioners of BBMP are in field by 7 o'clock in the morning to monitor the disposal of uh, waste. He has noted that uh, the waste disposal is not happening in uh, happening on a daily basis in Bengaluru. So it looks like it's a bad time for BBMP officials. It's not just Chief Minister. Remember, even uh, Upaloka Ekta Majiketu, who visited uh, the Mandur uh, landfill, came down heavily on the BBMP for uh, not managing the landfill scientifically and properly. Uh, the so, uh, the, the Loka Ekta too has initiated a Suomoto investigation into the case. Uh, the Upaloka Acta has said that uh, there will be an investigation and a report within 10 days about the uh, different illegalities at Mandur and how 
the entire uh, process of uh, waste management has been mishandled by the BBMP. Remember, roughly around 350 to 400 crores of uh, government money, our money is spent on waste disposal in uh, Bangalore. This is one of the highest in the country, but still we have one of the worst disposable uh, dis- uh, waste disposal uh, uh, management service in Bengaluru. So it looks like uh, the BBMP is uh, getting attention, uh, unwanted attention rather from uh, all quarters, uh, Nishita. Right, absolutely. And also, Harish, we understand that the Chief Minister was expected to meet the residents of Mandur a few days back. That has not happened. So, will that interaction take place? Will the Chief Minister himself bring about uh, this uh, compromise of three months that he's talking about? Well, uh, there are different uh, people who are now trying to strike a compromise. You have uh, the city in charge minister, Ramlinga Reddy, who's having uh, holding parallel talks as well. And uh, Arvind Limbavali too has been given the job of convincing the villagers. Several leaders too are, uh, looks like now at least that there are few leaders in the Mandur uh, uh, leadership itself who are convinced that the government needs to be given more time. But uh, there is one section which believes that uh, they have had enough of this assurance business and they shouldn't give any more time. And you already see so many of them uh, sitting uh, on a fast uh, initiative. Right, Harish. Thank you for joining us with all those uh, details. So there we have it. Uh, even as uh, many of the residents are still struggling uh, to make their point evident, to make their intention clear to the BBMP and to the people of Bengaluru, uh, the BBMP officials get wrapped by the chief minister who has gone on to even tell them that they're, if they're not that if they are not interested in working, if they are not interested in bringing about a solution to this entire crisis, then they should be ready to pack their bags and go home. And moving on now, and some good news to Shumi fans. Michael Schumacher is out of coma and has left the hospital, with reports even suggesting that he is able to communicate with his wife. Schumacher slammed his head on a rock while skiing in the French resort of Meribel in December last year and was put in a medically induced coma after undergoing brain surgery at the hospital. Well, it was said that since many chips of his skull had entered his uh, brain his complete recovery was almost impossible many had also given up hope on uh, shumi ever waking up but now good news coming in as uh, shumi seems to be out of coma and is said to be even interacting with his wife my colleague akshita joins us with more details on this well akshita what more can you tell us well, uh, Nishita, no doubt this news will be welcomed by fans across the world. Of course, it's been a huge relief considering uh, that he has been in a comatose for the last six months. Remember, this coma was artificially induced, so they could go ahead and treat his uh, head injuries, ensure uh, there is no blood seeping into his brain and there are no issues as such. But uh, what we do understand is that uh, slowly Michael Schumacher is now in the waking phases. He's even able to recognize his wife, but does in fact have uh, a conversation with her wherein he speaks a few words. So all this is very, very positive science to say in the least. So seeing this kind of progress in Schumacher, he's now been released from the hospital. He's no longer at the Grenoble Hospital. Now, while early reports suggested that he was heading back home, we do understand now it has in fact been confirmed that he has been moved to uh, an other hospital, to a rehabilitation center of sorts, Nishita. This, of course, in Switzerland, he is going to be in Lausanne, which is a very popular region in Switzerland. So he is going to continue his treatment there and uh, hope that, of course, his rehabilitation goes rather well. So far, very positive news coming in, considering that he is able to recognize his wife. He's even able to say a few words is what we understand. But uh, again, his uh, rehabilitation, uh, his coming out of this complete coma could take uh, a couple more months is what we understand. In fact, the family went on to release a statement as well, uh, Nishita. They went on to state that this is uh, very good news for them. His wife has been sitting by him all through this time they've been hoping and praying that uh, something comes through that he gets okay and it looks like all the prayers have helped so they've gone on to thank everyone also requested them uh, for their privacy stating that uh, uh, the treatment will be given away from the public eye so it could take a couple of months before we could actually see Shume come out and greet his fans uh, as of now uh, his progress is good and hopefully it will continue Nishita. Right Akshita thank you for joining us with all those details.